Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Lynch from the Stellite Institute in Annapolis, Maryland. When people hear about something that sounds like a little unusual, it's not a pill, it's not a therapy. What is this thing about a block sticking a needle in the neck? It sounds a little crazy and it did to me at first about 12 years ago when I first heard about this, but it's really a very simple uh, biological explanation for how the stellate ganglion block works. The procedure, first of all, has been around for 100 years and it was performed without any kind of guidance by just touching the neck and injecting next to your finger. It was done like that for many years and over the past uh, 20 years or so, we've really refined our practice using ultrasound guidance um, to, to precisely target the, the nerve and use a local numbing medicine called ropivacaine, which is the same thing that your dentist uses to numb your tooth or something like that. It's a temporary anesthetic that wears off after about eight hours. But the way we can use it is to specifically target the fight or flight system. And in this case, what we're doing is a temporary procedure. It doesn't have any permanent or lasting changes per se, but it's just enough that helps uncouple the body from the brain in terms of a dysfunctional loop that it can establish. And for many people, you sense this, you know that this is what's going on in your own body. What happens is that in the brain, there's what's called the central autonomic network, and it's primarily governed by a, by a region of the brain called the amygdala, which is essentially the fire alarm of the brain. The fire alarm of the brain tells us when there's something threatening, it's built upon memories from the past. If there's something threatening to us, it sends a signal to the body for us to respond. Um, this is something we all know. We have these symptoms. We know that if the guy in front of us on the highway slams on his brakes, immediately our body goes into fight or flight mode. We feel it in our heart. Our heart starts beating like crazy. Our lungs fill with air. Our muscles fire. Our sweat glands fire. All of these things happen instantaneously. Why? It's not because some signal was Bluetooth between the brain and the body, it's because the signal traveled down a very specific pathway called the cervical sympathetic trunk. This is a nerve that travels down the side of the neck and it's located on both sides. This is an anatomic feature, it's, it serves as a funnel and it carries all the fire flight signals from the brain to the body. But it also carries all the signals that have to do with the fight or flight system from the body to the brain. When this happens, we essentially establish a loop or a feedback circuit that happens and it allows us to stay uh, alert and uh, on edge if there's a threat present. Well, for some people, it just gets dysfunctional and there are a number of different reasons why that happens and many of them um, uh, come from a variety of backgrounds of what can cause people to have anxiousness or to have symptoms of post-traumatic stress. But in this case, the cervical sympathetic trunk doesn't really care. It's a nerve that will govern this system, and it's actually what's kept us alive as a species and allowed us to survive. So it's, it's quite a um, protective part of our body, and it um, lives in the autonomic nervous system, which is difficult to tinker with if there's something wrong with it. What we can do is precisely target this by steering it with ultrasound, an injection right along this nerve, and what that does is put, allow us to put it to sleep. This is a treatment um, technique that's been used for many, many years in pain medicine. This is not something new. The medicine ropivacaine is not anything new. It's actually a very simple, inexpensive medication. The procedure itself, like I said, has been around 100 years. What we didn't figure out though until more recently is that it could be used to treat things like the physiologic symptoms of anxiety. It doesn't cure anxiety. I think that would be a, a misstatement to say that, but it can certainly dial down, the, down the, the sensations that you have in your body and allow you to function in a, in a more uh, a calm state, allow you to participate in therapy by being more calm in your body and, and perhaps help you avoid some of the things that you've had to do to treat your anxiety. And for some people, those are unhealthy things, including using substances and things like that. So I hope that this is, this is a meaningful discussion for you. I hope that um, this is helpful. I hope that you'll look at the hard evidence and read the study and make up your mind for yourself. For us here, it's a very simple thing. It's been around for a while um, and we focus on this. It's simply calm your body, calm your mind. They're connected at the neck. Why not go right there and target it with treatment? Thank you.